Hey, welcome my favorite people. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up automatic forest price alerts on MT4 or MT5 for free. I'll show you how to get these forest price alerts to your email or to get it as SMS straight into your phone. I'll also show you how to do it with a live example working in real time. I'll walk you through step by step with no steps skipped. Now, this video is a technical video, so you have to watch it closely and listen to the very end so you don't miss any details. So let's get right into it. Okay, now it doesn't matter whether you you're trying to get your this uh, forex price alert uh, set up for MT4 or MT5. It's basically the same process. The first thing you need to do is to load up your chart just like I've done, your MT4 chart just like I've done. Then you go to tools, click on tools, go down to options, open it, and there it is. Usually, maybe in, depending on your own chart, it may be in chart server, server, but you just ensure that you open it up in email. So, this option here, when it's ticked, it enables um, email notifications now the key thing that you need here is this smtp password the key thing you need in this section is actually the smtp password it's a unique password that allows you to connect your metatrader app to your email so that you get notifications in this case i'm going to be using the gmail server which is free now in order for you to get the smtp password you have to set up the password inside your google account i have a video that teaches you how to do that it should be popping up right now or you can find the link to it in the description. This is a currently working Google SMTP server. The SMTP login would be the email of the Google account where you set up the SMTP password. You get it from myaccount.google.com. Inside there is called the app password. I explained all that in the video I mentioned earlier. So ensure you watch it so you're filled in. Okay, so the form can be any title you want to give it. I just used the email it was coming from for mine. The tool section is the email that you would receive the forex prize alert message this is quite important because if you don't put in the right email yeah you wouldn't get the notification okay so i haven't set up everything correctly then what is left is to test it whether what you have set up is working correctly so you just click on this test button to come up like this you now go to the journal to see the information okay click okay yeah then enter into journal so you can see the journal displays that an email has been sent to the you can see source mail dispatcher so there's no error so that means that everything has worked out correctly so if this is correct when you pop into the email you should see display an email message just like this so that means it worked out correctly so next let's see how we can use this practically okay so now with everything set up correctly to use this practically now let's just look at our chart let me just go to one minute so i can see prices very closely the current price is about one two six uh, two eight one okay so you go to your last section this alert section just right click on anywhere around it click on create then okay this is gu so let me change this to gu for example so now where you see this place action you then change this action place to mail because you're looking for a mail notification this time around so i'm just gonna use uh, maybe greater than so this is like a real life test and i'm gonna use the value currently i think since it's going more up let me choose a price that is just around where it is right now okay so you can uh, put it you can then these three points there you can just put the email where it's going to the subject and price maybe you can just write like gu price greater than you know maybe that's what you want to get as an location and maybe two three something or two three one you can give more details on that yeah because at the end of the day this is how the email will come mm -hmm. then you just click apply so it says that in then the time out you can change the number of times maybe to five let's reduce it um, okay so i think we're good to go mail is enabled so i think it's quite close to it so i'll just it's quite close to it so i just hope it's that so i've set the price just there so right now it's already above it so if i am right I may have already gotten an email. Okay, so you can see it's active. You can see it's active. So what this means is that an email should have been sent. So let's go check if the email, if we actually received that email. Okay, as so you can see, we actually received the email. In fact, we have received the email three times. So you can see for each of the times that um, it triggered, we got the email. 
each of the times it triggered, we actually got an email. So I won't um, recommend that you make, if you're setting this, for example, let's modify this um, maximum number of iterations. You don't want to have too many emails. Maybe just put it as one. Yeah, because you just want to receive the email once, basically. So you can just put that as one or two at most. You understand then you set the values and you will get it if you want to get this as an sms okay so now if you want to get such an email as an sms what you do is this now under the place where you um, set up your email not here now okay let me just quickly change this back now always remember to do that to revert back to what you were using before. If not, you may now it may now switch to emails and if it's sound you want to hear, you won't be hearing sound. Okay, so if you will want to get it as an SMS, the trick is this, you go back to this same place. Now this email here, where it's been sent to, if your phone number, your phone number is such that in your country or in your location, your company has an email for that phone number. Then you can input that phone number email here. What happens is that when a message is sent to that email, you will get it as a text message. So what you just need to inquire is to find out if you uh, talk to your mobile network carriers, tell them that you want to receive an SMS on your phone. That does your line, your phone number, does it have an email that uh, converts the email to text message so just inquire from them most providers already have that it will just be like your phone number at the service provider domain name so if it was maybe say um, t-mobile for example to be your phone number at t-mobile.com something like that so you can just inquire with your service provider and if they have that function all you need to do is to come put in this put in that email here and what happens is that when the price triggers you get it in your phone as an sms so that's the trick about the SMS part. Okay, so lastly, if you want to see how I combine all of this information to make hundreds of dollars every single month using Forex trading, price alerts, price notifications, then watch this video.